Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek Rid. I'm Penge. Welcome back to the Airport CEO Extreme Difficulty Challenge. And I think this could be the last part of the Extreme Difficulty Challenge because most things, let's speed time on, most things are kind of ready and in play. The two runways are in play. So the whatever one that one is, which one's that one? I don't know. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. There's been a change since I last played this, which was last night. They must have updated something. Things are slightly different. What's that? Operation mode. Uh, what's that? Both arrival and departure. Arrival or... Oh, okay. Right, they've switched that around a little bit. They've changed that then. <gasps> That's exciting. Oh, hang on. Have they changed anything else? Are there new items or anything? Anything exciting? No, not by the look of it. No new areas either. Okay, like, but right, never mind. That's cool. That's fine. Um, So, yes, it's all kind of in play. All the runways are in play. The The stands are in play. All we need now is some refueling options for the bigger commercial flight and the baggage stuff to be sorted out. So, I left it a long while. I think we were on day two. So, I've left it five days. We've got ourselves $444,001, which is good. So, uh, let's go to our economy section and procurement and let's buy ourselves the final things that we're going to need. So, the first thing we want to get Jet A1 fuel service, $100,000, it's very expensive. So there we go, so now I'm a little bit poorer. And I wanted to get the baggage scanning station for 250 grand. Why not? Let's do it properly. So we've got all those. So the only things we haven't really got now, in terms of procurement-based stuff, is this kind of stuff, which I don't... We're not going to get the tilt tray. I don't think we've got a, a big enough airport to warrant kind of redirecting baggage and stuff everywhere. The only stuff we haven't got is this kind of rubbish stuff here. So, you know, the travel document scanner allows operators to review passengers' travel documents in real time. I mean, does that? do we need that? It costs 25 grand and 1,500 an hour. I mean, that costs 5,000 an hour. That's quite expensive. That's very expensive indeed. So, and that costs two and a half grand an hour as well. So, I might, once we've got people coming through, I might get the travel document scanner. I imagine it just speeds people up, does it? It speeds the process up of getting them in the airport. But right now, when we don't make that much an hour, so look, we're not even, we've just made two grand an hour. So then lose 1500 an hour is going to be a little bit silly. So we won't get that right now. So all we've got to do is wait for the fuel thing to unlock and the baggage scanning station to unlock. And then we'll have two more things to play with. So in the meantime, let's start doing some baggage sort of planning in our heads. So they're going to come from here. The bags are going to come along this way. Then we're going to have all the different baggage sort of stations and stuff in here, which is fine. So what we need to do first, we need to zone this as a staff only section like that. Bip, bip, bop, bop. And that little bit there as well. So that's staff only, which is, that's fine. That's cool. I like that. That's a staff only area. And it should be. That's correct. Have we got the vehicles in there? A couple of service trucks. Lovely. The roads all connect. So that connects up. And all the roads are connected. And it's all fine. So everything's looking okay there. We've got that done. So the baggage claim bit is done. So that's sitting there quite merrily. So kind of everything is ready. Everything is poised and waiting. What we could do is, in here, we could zone out some shops. Oh, one of the things is ready. So let's zone out a couple of shops while we're here. So let's zone out uh, just there. In fact, let's have a big shop. Let's have a shop like... No, it's not that big, is it? Like that. 15 by 19. 50, you know what? 15 by 20. Let's make it 15 by 20 and make it nice. There we go. And then a little food place as well on this side. Maybe going out to say there. Like a food place. Like that. I like that idea. And then just because... I want it to have walls just there. And uh, yeah, let's give that a wall just there. So the shop can kind of have walls around the outside. The cafe bit can be fairly open. It can be nice and open. That's lovely. So we're going to have two shops and a cafe eatery thing here. A shop and a cafe eatery thing on the other side of security, which is very exciting. In come the little buildy worky men. Come on, buildy worky men. Do buildy workings. Okay. Cool, right, that's that done. Now we can build the Jet A1 Fuel Depot. Yes, okay, this is very exciting. Well, let's put that just there. There's no reason for it not to go just there. It, it, there's no real reason why it can't just sit there quite nicely like that. 
And then a fuel tank is what? 10 grand. Oh, that's absolutely nothing now. So 10 grand. Let's pop that next to that as well. Because the big planes will need a lot more fuel. Now that one was low on fuel, wasn't it? That was low on fuel. But I think it just refuels when it's empty. I think it just refuels when it's empty. Do you know what? Now, why not? Why not have ourselves a little attachable fuel tank? Now we can afford it a bit. Let's just attach that to just there. And then let, wait for the little builder fellas to do their thing. Are they doing anything? Builder fellas. Hello. Please do some stuff. Oh, there we go. There they go. They're getting there eventually. Right, that one is done. Uh, yep. Yeah. Now, oh yeah, this is delivered by Avifuel. So the contract that I've got still covers this. This is lovely. So they're going to come in, fill up the main tank. Then they'll fill up the backup tank as well. Another 40k. So 240 litres of fuel. 240,000 litres of fuel. And then once that's finished... They presumably will send out a truck to fill up the attached tank, will they? Is that what they'll do? They're taking a long time to build this attachable tank. Anytime you like, fellas. There we go. Okay, so is something coming to fill that up? Does a little truck come along to fill that up? Ooh, it's a bit grim, isn't it? If you go right to the bottom and keep trying to scroll. <laughs> earthquake! Okay, no, no earthquakes. No earthquakes. Earthquakes aren't allowed. Um. Okay, so have we got the baggage stuff? I imagine all that stuff is now unlocked. Yeah, okay. Right, we're going to need a couple of those. So let's get uh, one, two of those. Oh, they take a long time to order. They take no time at all. They just appear, pretty much. I thought they... Am I going at the fastest speed? Maybe they've adjusted the time that it takes to get these trucks in. I thought they appeared fairly quickly. Um, let's get another two of those. Oh, no, let's get another one. We'll have two of those. Uh, I think we get... Uh, I think we've got everything we want now. Right, so all the baggage stuff is done. All the baggage scanning stuff is in. So here we go. Here we go. Right there. Here comes the fun bit of baggage. Oh, this is this is going to go wrong. It's going to go wrong, everybody. It's going to go all kinds of wrong. So let's connect the baggage bay up first. We've only got the one baggage bay. That's fine. Right. That's connected. Oh, I also need to build queues for that as well. Right. Hang on. It's not very exciting to watch me connect these things up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect them all up to the baggage bay. And I'm going to build queues for them as well. And while that is, uh, you know, while I'm doing that, you don't need to watch me do that. Because that's probably not the most exciting of things in the world. We'll come back when all these are connected. Or they nearly all are now because I'm jabbering on like an idiot. And uh, yeah, they'll have queues as well. Ta-da! Queues! So, they've all got queues. They're all connected to the baggage bay. Now what we need to do is, we need to get structure and where is it it's in here somewhere items this is a little bit random i do find this a bit strange i wouldn't consider say uh, the baggage thing to be an item i know it calls it baggage items i would consider that to be like a structure or an infrastructure item like you know because then you go all oh, right i want doors and then doors are under structures but not infrastructure but then roads are under infrastructure i think that you know it needs a little bit of sort of sorting out it's fine you can get there eventually it's just a bit weird Right, so we need a baggage belt. So we're going to have an overground belt to start with. Right, let's turn it round. Let's have that going all the way to just there. So an overground belt. You can see that now. We want it to go underground. So now we want the underground belt. We want it to vanish just there. We want to go across here like this, pretty much. Where's the baggage thing? Okay, well, let's have it going in right in the corner like that. So it's underground, and then let's turn it round so it goes in. Right, so we've got the bags going into there. It goes underground, it's going into there. That's absolutely fine. But the little builder guys are on it already. Good job, builder guys. Okay, so that's fine. So they've come through into there. Now, I I know I have done, and it, it is one of the most popular videos in the Geek Cupboard, which may surprise people, but I have done a tutorial on the basic baggage handling service. And I get that. I'm all right for the basic thing. However, I have never, ever put any of these things in. Scan stations and bag scanners and bag destroyers and all this kind of stuff. So there's four things. So what How do I? What order do I do these in? Used for detecting suspicious contents. Used for manually scanning particularly suspicious contents. Used for scanning baggage for specific contents. And a bag destroyer. Used for destroying unwanted cargo such as bags containing malicious content. Is fully automated. So do we go through a bag scanner first, so a conveyor belt scanner, and then uh, uh, one of those scanning for specific components, then a scanning station, and then 
filter things off to the destroyer? I don't really know. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how this thing works. Let's just repair the runways while we're here because it means I don't have to think about not knowing about the baggage scanning. Okay, yeah, I'm not really sure what order I should do these things in. So that's fine. So we've got a thing just there. It's obviously not visible at the moment. So here we go. Let's put in, I would say a bag scanner is probably the first thing we want. So let's make sure. Now we've got plenty of room. It's beautiful. It's lovely. I like having all this room in here. It's good. It's good. Okay. So the bag scanner can sit just there, say. It can go just there. Why not? Just there. Bag scanner. Bosh. That's a generic bag scanner. And then it's got... Yeah, I need to take a look at it. On the other side, look, it's got a bit with red arrows coming out. So presumably that can then be a bag destroyer. Used for detecting suspicious contents. Then used for scanning baggage for, well, it's a scapific components, but specific components. So then can we put that sort of there? So it goes through. And then a scan station, which is a more, more sort of in-depth thing again, by the look of it. So one of those just there, maybe? And then three bag destroyers, possibly. Now, I can't afford three. These are all relatively expensive. So let's bring the thing back overground. Underground, overground. Right, and let's drag it across like that. So that's going to loop round. And then up to there. And we want two going to there. And two going to just there. Okay. So there's a number of bag scanner things that are going on. We then want a bag destroyer on each of these. Just in case it finds something dodgy. So like that. Yeah, used for destroying unwanted cargo. Such as bags containing malicious content. So do I want one of those to sit just there? Like that? And then another one there, and another one there. So I'm going to need to save up some money to be able to do this. Because otherwise, if they find a bag that they can't do anything with, if they find a dodgy bag, it's going to just chuck it out onto the floor? I don't know. Or could, ah, can we have all these three going into one thing? Ah, that might be a better solution. Yes, okay. Use brain, use brain. Okay, overground belt. Let's do this, look. That can come out a bit. That can come out. That can come out. Then they can all go like that. Oh no, we want that to go to there. Then we want upward belts like that. And then we want this way belt to go like that. Oh, it's gone a bit weird in the middle. It's gone a bit weird. Hang on. No, abandon. Abandon hope. Abandon. Okay. That didn't work. That didn't work for whatever reason. Overground belt when it was going that way. Yeah, left. Yeah, for some reason it decides to turn it around. I don't know why that is. Okay, let's take out that column there. And let's do... <laughs> I knew the baggage would be a bloody nightmare. Right, and that can come down to there, say. Yeah, okay, that works. And then the bag destroyer can sit on the end just there and do bag destroying things. Yay! Okay, that looks like a good thing. That looks like it's going to work. And then... Uh, overground belt can carry on and go actually to the inbound bit just here, which is splendid. So let's get that, uh, I don't know, like that, and then turn it left till it's about there, is it? Yep, and then up to say there. Okay, so that's connected in. So the bags coming in can go blip, 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 get scanned, get all the stuff sorted with them. That's very cool and very exciting. Any dodgy bags come out, get spat out into the cargo destroyer, blow things up. Then it comes in here. So it comes into here. Then the bags come off here. The little trucks come in. Get the stuff. And they bugger off and go onto the planes. Now coming back out. We want it. Now can they cross over? Can we now cross things over if it's underground and overground? No. So we still can't cross them over. Okay. So we're going to have to kind of go around the edge. And along that way. It's going to be very expensive. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fine. So it's going to be a bit costly. But never mind. Okay. So now we want, is this an overground one? Yeah. So we want it to be overground for a bit. Um, and then we want it to go underground at some point. I don't know. Can we have it just going out like that? That would work, wouldn't it? D -d 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 yeah, okay. Let's have it like that. So then if they're coming back out, so when they've come off the plane, an overground belt downwards to just say, oh, there. Just there. And then an underground belt going just there and then an underground belt going all the way across there now this is going to be expensive 
It's cutting underneath those things. I don't really like it now. I don't like it going underneath the stand things. Cancel that. Let's have it going another couple of lines down. Like, ooh. Okay, that's gone a bit weird. Like that. And then going to the right. So all the way along. Pa under the cues. Under the cues of everybody, which is a bit weird. So like to there. Then coming down. And then going to the right. Like that. And then soon I'm going to have absolutely no money. And then to there, say. And then we can have it pop up. Uh, so we can have an overground belt again and it can basically just loop we just have a thing that goes round like that and then to the right we just have it we don't even need to use all this space up we can just have one thing like that uh do you know what let's have it let's have it let's let's use the space let's use all of the space and let's have a funny shaped belt thing because i want one why why not eh and then we'll have it going along a bit and then another bit going up for, for no discernible reason. Just because I think it looks fun and stupid. And then back down. And then across. And am I running out of money quite yet? No, I think I've got monies to spare. Okay, so it's one gigantic, gigantic loop. There we go. All the way across to there. And then back down. There we go. Beautiful. So it'll loop round. There's a couple of bits where people can sit in the middle. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Okay, so the worker guys are now busy building all this stuff. <gasps> that looks like it might actually work. Okay, so can we activate that? No, it seems. Airport baggage handling service. Of course, it's all disabled. Well, let's wait for them to finish doing all of the work on these things. Because this is going to take us... Well, us. I say us. I'm not doing anything. I'm sat here. It's going to take them a little while to sort all that out, isn't it? They're going to be there for a long old time. Have we got everything else sorted that we want? In here, I want some more screens. Airport screens. Um, yeah, let's drop a few of these in, just because I like the idea of them being there. So let's put a couple along the walls. Is that the right way round? Yes, it is the right way round. <laughs> these airport screens are terrible. They're facing the wrong way. What idiot put those in? Oh, me. Uh, yeah, let's just put them along those walls like that. Let's put one. Oh, I can't see. Oh, and I've pressed the button though. I don't know what it did. Oh, it bought up my flight planner by a shortcut, which I didn't know you could do. Uh, one of those there. Let's put one uh, up here, maybe behind those there. Another one in the corner. And maybe one in that corner if it's the right way around. There. Okay, lovely. Right, trash cans. Now, there's plenty of trash cans up there. There's none around here, however. So let's just pop a few trash cans around. So a couple along here. Maybe one there, one there, one there. And then let's get some large plants. Let's make it look all nice. Um, do I need more gate seating? Possibly. I might put a little bit of gate seating just down the middle here, look. Just because. Uh, because I can. There we go. Like that. And then at the end of each of those, trash can, trash can, trash can. Small plant, small plant, small plant. And then we want a few large plants dotted about because they make the place look very lovely. So let's, in fact, let's line the edge of the cafe there. Oh no, I can't put it there. <laughs> Item position not valid, just there. Weird, why can't I put it there? Okay, fine, whatever, not bothered. Um, yeah, so one there, one there, say... One there, one there. I don't know, just dot a few around. A few by the toilet doors, by the sort of bathroom entrances and stuff. Uh, one there. I think it makes it look look nice. Just makes the place look pretty. There we go. Now this is a big waste of space, isn't it? I might put another cafe thing in the middle of there. Should we have another shop? Or a food place? A food place. Let's build another food place in the middle. Just there. Not a massive one. Just a little food place to just cope with some people. In fact, let's have it built within the yeah the confines of an actual grid. There we go. 16 by 12. There. That's good. So we'll have three food places and three shops. That seems to make sense. Right. How many things have they got left to build? Operations. Construction. Um, oh, no. Not a lot left. Not a lot left at all. By the time I've had this sip of delicious tea, that should all be ready. Okay, okay, they're taking a longer time than I thought. That was a, quite a big sip of tea, and they've still not quite sorted it, but okay, never mind. Five things to build, and it's probably all trivial little stuff like pot plants and what have you, but okay. One more thing, one more thing, nothing left to build. 
Okay. So now, can we activate the cargo bay? So now we need to switch on the uh, handling. Baggage handling. Yep. Uh, four rampages. Ah, okay, right. Now I need to start employing staff. Okay. Okay, this could be... This could be troublesome then, because I've got no flights. I've got no flight scheduled as of yet. Okay, uh, let's connect the baggage bays to the stands. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Forgetting my own tutorial here. It's not, not a very good thing, is it? Not a very good advertisement for that video when I don't know what I'm doing. Right, okay. Um, upgrades. What upgrades do they have? Oh, right, yes. Okay, I don't, I don't care about that. Okay, now they're all ready. So I think we can open that stand. Okay, so the stands are open. Hurrah. Okay, the stands are all open. That is very cool. Okay, I need to employ staff. Then the instant I get staff members employed, I then need to make sure that I've got flights coming in. Because if I don't have flights coming in, that's going to be a bad thing. But then the instant I've got... Basically, when I open properly, when I say, yes, we're now available for commercial flights, I need to get all the shop stuff sorted... That, uh, by the way, I don't know if you can hear that outside. I've got the window open to let some air into the geek cupboard. I think I think a hurricane is descending upon the, the East Midlands of England. It's very, very windy. I apologise if that's very loud. It was very, very loud. Very loud, gusty wind. Um, yeah, once I've got it all sorted, once I basically say, right, commercial flight is on its way at blah o'clock, I then need to get everything sorted. So I need to employ a load of people and get the shops in and get everything ready. So are we ready? Are we, are we actually ready to do this? Are we ready to do this? We can switch the runways on now because they're only set for commercial flights. So that's absolutely fine. So they won't matter. Um, yep, yeah, nope, not a general aviation for that one, I'm afraid. And that is just for taking off. Yep, yeah, there we go. So departure only. Open that runway. So those runways are now open. Not for the general aviation stuff. That's down here still. So that's absolutely fine. So the regular flight stuff is ready. The runways are open. The stands are open. I just need people, I think. I think that's all I need. I need actual bodies to now man the, to, to sort of, you know, man the airport and get stuff done. Oh, this is very exciting. Could the challenge be at an end? Okay, well, let's, let's employ some people. Oh, look, one of the top bods is in their office. Oh, I knew. You're there. Ah, now, look, there is already some litter. So let us go to staff. Staff and vehicles. Okay, that is that new? Vehicles? Oh, this is new as well. Look, this is new. This is very different. This wasn't always like this. Oh, hang on. You can set them to be spe at specific sites. So this isn't basic vehicle depot. This is baggage depot. And we want, yeah, we don't want the fuel trucks to be kind of all the way over here all the time. They can drive around and refuel the planes. So I would rather have that. All the things... The baggage ones, the little, these ones, the service trucks, just at uh, Basic Vehicle Depot or Bernard. Basic Vehicle Depot. Hang on, I've given it a name. I've called it Baggage Depot because that one's called Bernard. And I don't want it to be at Bernard. I want it to be in Baggage Depot. So can I change that? None. Basic Vehicle Depot or Bernard. Why can't I pick the one I just created? Basic Vehicle Depot. Uh, do you know what? It doesn't matter. I imagine they're still working on this kind of thing. But that's quite nice. It's a nice little sort of touch there. And you can locate it. So you go, where is it? Whoa! <laughs> it zooms it in very much. Uh, does it zoom it in if you locate, say, that one? No, that one. Yeah, it zooms in quite a lot, doesn't it? Uh, okay, it doesn't really matter. The service trucks, I suppose, in theory, if... Oh, no, no, open. Um, I suppose, in theory, if, say, the service trucks were over here... They could then just come around here and service these ones, these uh, stands here. So it's not so bad. As long as there's plenty of service trucks to do all the baggage runs, that's fine. Okay, okay. We're going to pause. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let's run time on just until I've got 200 grand. Because I think at the minute it's going to be a bit risky. Now, I've got loads of alerts. Uh, a GA flight did not... Oh, that was three days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Windy conditions. Oh, my goodness. How many alert things have I got? Loads of them. Generic notifications. So many notifications. Oh my goodness me. Hundreds of them. Right, yeah. Lots of people are angry. And I've got loads of email as well. It's about fuel trucks. So golden opportunities. I thought I was supposed to... Or have I not cleared my email in that long? Let's just delete all these. Da, 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 da. Splendid. So, <laughs> Jenny Wickles. You've had nothing to do, but you decided not to delete any of your emails. Okay, fine. Um, 
yeah, let's wait until we've got just a little bit more money. Because then as soon as we start paying wages, that cost is going to come straight down. That is going to come right down. Is there anything else we need? So we've got fuel trucks. Have we got sufficient fuel trucks? Have we got two of each? So we've got one A1 truck, two A1 trucks, and three of the littler trucks. That's fine. They're both idling. Everything else is idling apart from the other three, which are actually hauling fuel around, as you'd expect. That's good. Shifts doesn't really matter too much. Operate security station. Oh, yeah, let's, let's up that to five hours. Why not? Perform security round. Do they go rounds as well? Okay, and operate conveyors. Yeah, you can do that for four hours. Operate baggage bay, six hours. Yeah, so we're going to need to now employ lots of people. And then we can get ourselves a contract to go and actually do some stuff. We can actually go and get some planes in, heaven forbid. Oh my goodness, they've added an awful lot of contracts in as well. Look at all those. There weren't that many last time I played. Right, okay, so we want airline contracts. Good grief. Wow. Okay, there's a there's loads of them. There's loads and loads and loads of them. Okay. So that's open. We can open that room now. The baggage handling room is open. That's fine. It's connected to the baggage bay. It should all be good. The ramp agents should be able to get to there. There's a door. They can get to that. That's fine. What we now need is staff and stuff to go in the shops. So let's start getting. Let's pause it for a second. Staff. Oh no, I won't be able to pause it quite yet. Uh, view applicants. Okay. How many airport staff do we need? We need at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably nine to go down there. 10, 11, 12, 13. Fit, so I'd say at least 16. So we've got some. So that's three. We need all the security we can get. Two janitors. I don't know what service technicians do at this point in the game. I don't know if they have any bearing on anything. However, Ramp agents. Yes, we need lots of those guys. They're kind of key. They're kind of important. Um, we need, yeah, airport staff, more security. Ramp agents, loads of them. More staff, more security. We'll get another janitor. Have we got any more ramp agents or anything? Well, these are all top bods. Yeah, we, we don't need all you guys. So if we move time on, can we have any more staff? Now, do they just come in? Do they come in on the big yellow fun buses? Or do they just appear? Do they just drive in? Uh, yeah, can we have some more people? Some more people, please. Uh, yeah, there we go. Right, pause. More. Yay. So a couple of ramp agents. A couple more of those. In fact, let's get three more of those. More staff. Let's get another couple of security people. Because we need lots. We've got lots of stuff. Uh, more ramp agents. Staff, staff, ramp agents. And you know what? That many people. There we go. Lots of people employed at Everest International now. <gasps> Look, they're actually doing stuff. In they come. In they come in their whores. And they're all going into the executive room. <laughs> decided not to go into the into the nice bit where they've got a massive room no no they're all <laughs> they're all crammed in here go and do something else you fools okay now that can be ramp agent station per site three activate beautiful right they can get in look so they're running in they're ready to man that now one thing i do need to consider is can they they can get to the baggage bay that's absolutely fine can they get onto those bits can they get there? Can they get onto these uh, the stands? Because they normally walk onto the stands, don't they? They normally stroll out onto the stands and help unload the planes and stuff. Now, I don't know if they can reach there. Now, is that going to be a problem? Do I need to put sidewalks, kind of connecting that, and round the edge down there? I think I might need to do that before I do anything else. So a sidewalk, because they're not allowed to sort of just walk about. So let's make it four wide. Why not? So a sidewalk... Sidewalk up to there, say, like that. Uh, let's add an extra. Oh, terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, goodness me. I'm having a nightmare. Oh, no. Yeah, one there. Right. All the way along there. So it's to like that. And then down like that. Just in case. Let's add another row as well. Why not? I think they should be all right. But if not, that should help. So there we go. Everything looks good. There's now staff. There's people. There's people waiting around. Okay, so operations, baggage handling system, uh, baggage handling requires enabled round, oh yes of course I need to turn that on, and then that on, right so now the baggage stuff is ready, 
Okay, are we ready to actually do this? Now there's further noises from outside the gear cupboard. That's the uh, the bin men or the refuse truck or whatever you want to call it. They're here as well now, so that's fun. Right, security disabled. Does that mean security is... Ah, security enabled. That's probably a good thing, right? I would say enabling security is a good thing. Right, do we need more security people? Because that's only got three. Doesn't that require four? Is not operated and cannot process persons. Right, we need some more. We definitely need more security people. There's a security board there at the baggage. So we need at least uh, one, four, seven more security people. Good lord. Right, okay. Uh, security. Uh, can we filter it by security? One, two, three. Ah, oh, just shy. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm not going to be making much money now. Right, and then a couple of janitors as well. I don't know how many janitors we've got. Let's get Fong Nguyen and Ongan Petrov. They look awesome. They're awesome dudes. Right, now we need one more security person. Come on, one more security person should be enough. You, Matthias Wagner, we'll hire you. Splendid. Right, so that should be all those security checkpoints manned. The little thing there is manned. The ramp agents are done. There we go. Right. So that's now operational. That is operational. That is operational. That's operational. That's operational. All these are working. So they're all sort of set. This is this is beautiful. Okay. Okay. Right. Pause. Shops. Let's get this done now. So let's let's do let's do the shops first. So sign a contract. Uh, yep. So we could have Turner. We can't have fly go. Yeah, can we have two smaller shops just there? The shops need to be absolutely vast. This does need some work in this game. Like, that's quite a big room. 130 metres squared. And yet, you know, it's like, no, I want 227 metres squared and 12 shelves. So it's like, it's that big, but with 12 shelves kind of crammed into a coin. It looks very silly. So let's get um, Turner and Quick Stop. So turn. Or do we just make that one big shop? Do you know what? Let's delete that. Yes. Let's delete that as a room. Yes. Do we need to move time on for that to happen? Yeah, okay, fine. Right, pause. Let's just make that one giant shop. Like that. So then that might mean that we can get a bigger contract in. So can we now get that? In? Yeah, we can get Traveler's Shop or Power. Uh, yeah, Power Pay More. Power Pay More per day. Oh, they get less airport cut, but they give a bigger bonus. Okay, yeah, let's have Power. Oh, no, I can't sign it yet. I've forgotten. No, hang on. Come out of that. No, cancel. Reject. I don't want to actually reject. <laughs> don't make the... Oh, for goodness sake. They've gone away. I couldn't get out of that screen. Right. 12 shelves and a cashier desk in this massive space, which is a bit weird. Okay. 12 shelves. So why don't we just put large shelves everywhere and a cashier desk. Uh, which way round is it? Yeah, that way. So let's put it... Uh, there. So, there. That'll do. And then 12 shelves. Now, so this is what I disagree with in this. So, one, two, three. Let's do it like this then. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there can be some over here. Ten, eleven. And then there can be a shelf just there. Twelve. So, that's now 12 shelves. So, now, does that count that I can now sign that with them? Yes. Okay. Right. Signed a thing with those guys. This place. Sign a contract. So we can get the bean, because it's big enough, or the sushi, or the Italian kitchen. I quite like the idea of it being a massive coffee shop. Uh, so yeah, let's get the bean. So I want six fridges and a sales thing for the bean. Okay, that's massive. That's huge for that. Okay. Uh, a cafe counter, which goes... Which way round does that go? Uh, that's very hard to identify where the front is. Yeah, that needs the arrows on it, doesn't it? Right, so the, the computer screens are facing up now. So it's going to go just there, like that look. So hang on, this is that's very confusing, isn't it? In the corner, they're going to sit on the side with the... No, like that, I think it goes. I think it goes like that. There, yes, because the little keyboard bits are on that side. So there you go, one of those... And then, just fridge displays. Now, these are, this is really silly, this is. This massive space, just full of these little tiny fridge displays. But okay, uh, let's have them all along there, then why not? Uh, let's have one, uh, two, three, 
four, five, and let's flip it round. One, two, three, four, five. So a load of foodery places. And then, just to make it look like an actual cafe, let's put some seats in. Yay, seats. So we'll have one there, and one there, and another one there, and there. Uh, and some more, say, here, like that. Let's flip it round, there and there. And let's do the same again. Which way round am I with the sofa? Uh, there, and there, there, and there. And this bit can be for queuing in. Okay, so that's one of those done. This is another eatery place, so we want somewhere smaller. So how about Crane's Burgers? I need one thing. <laughs> one thing. Can we have a two-star? Can we have Swift Veg? Yes, we could. Three fridges. Okay, yeah, I'll go for that. Oh, no. Oh, there's a cross in the corner of the flipping contract. That's how you do it. What an idiot. Okay. Uh, items. Cashier. No, not that one. Cafe counter. Uh, yep, yeah. so let's tuck that in the corner just there. And then let's get ourselves some fridge displays. Again, this is a bit silly, but never mind. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, and then some places for people to sit. So again, do you know what? Let's have armchairs for this. Let's have rows of armchairs for this place because it's a bit more laid back. So you can sit opposite each other, look, like that. And again, just there. One, two, three, four. And then you can sit opposite each other like that. Splendid. There we go. Now, there's no tables or anything, which is a little bit sad, but never mind. And I'd quite like the idea of, I quite like the idea of having plants all the way across the back. Just to sort of delineate that off as a thing. And then, oh, that'd be quite cool. And then airport screen just there. So people can kind of look at the screens and go, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I like that. That's good. So there's always a screen visible. And then drop a load of plants around like that. Yay. And then uh, a small one in the corner. Bop and bop. Okay, I like that. That's very cool. Right, we need speed time on because these places need to be built. And also they need to drop in those massive load of pot plants that I suddenly decided I needed. Right, sign a contract. Ah, power of comeback. I can go to there now. So they want 13 shop shelves and a cashier. Okay, right. Pause again. Uh, cashier, shop. Uh, you can go just, just there. Is that the right way round? I get very confused with the way these are supposed to go. Let's just drop it there. Whatever. I'm not too fussed. And then large shelves. Because people are more likely to buy stuff off of the large shelf. So they'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. And they do need 13 shelves. So let's do another three. So that's nine large shelves. How about a couple of medium shelves? Just along here. So that's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then just for the sake of it, let's put some small shelves in sort of just there. That they've got like the the, the yeah you know, the snacks they've got snacks on that's fine that one uh, okay yeah that's cool I like that right sign with power yes okay and the last shop is going to be a big coffee shop or a big cafe type thing so sign a contract the Italian kitchen or sushi or Valentino uh, zitties I don't yeah I don't ever want zitties let's get hiko sushi so they pay ten. Their bonus is 2700 Oh, God, their bonus is four and a half. Sales for bonus, four and a half grand. Yeah, let's go for Valentino. So seven. Seven fridges. That's nothing. It's tiny. It's teeny tiny. Okay. So cafe counter can be kind of here. Again, I think it's... Which way around is it? That way around. So that can sit in the corner very nicely. And then fridge displays can go down this side. Again, I think they're that way. So, yeah, one, two, three. Flip it round. Four, five, six. Let's do the same again there, actually. Seven, eight, nine. They've probably got more than they need, but that's absolutely fine. So, 12 of those. And then lots of stuff for people to sit on. So, uh, sofas. A couple of those guys. Yeah, sit opposite each other. Why not? Back onto that. And then sit opposite each other. And then back onto that one. And then opposite each other. And if you're a bit antisocial, you can just sit on one of these armchairs at the back. Like that. Yay. Lovely. Okay. Right. Speed time on. Get all that sorted. Get everything in, please, builder folks. Um, 
Are there going to be enough builder folks to do that? Do I need to draft in a few more builder folks? I may need to get a few more people in just because we're going to be running out of money. Let's get an extra 20 contractors in just to hurry this whole process up of building because they're going to have absolutely loads of things to build. It's absolutely stacked out. Look at it. Right, 20 more bodies are on hand. 20 more people are on hand to come and stock things up. Oh, yeah, they're still building this road bit, of course, the, um, the sidewalk that I put in. I've got to finish that as well. Okay, right. More tea is required. I shall have some more tea. And then all this shall be finished when we come back. Okay, they are done. There are no objects left to construct. So we can now dismiss. I don't think we need to do any more building. If we do, it'll only be sort of emergency buildings. We've got 50 people. Let's get rid of 40 of those. So dismiss 40 contractors. Just keep 10 on site. Just in case. Just in case we need to do you know, a little bit of remedial work on walls. Or put in something stupidly obvious that I've missed. But I think... I think we are all ready to go. Now, why are those places... Oh, they've just not got the people, the staff in yet. And so that shop is obviously open because it's lit. Whereas these grey ones here are not open yet. Like that shop as well is open. It's clearly open and working because there's a guy stood there. But, um, yeah, these ones aren't yet. Maybe it's just because there's nobody attending. There's nobody in there. I've not signed a... Hang on, I thought I'd signed a contract for those. Have I not actually signed contracts for these? What an absolute spoon. Yeah, so I've kind of built the things for them, but I've not actually signed anything for the, the people. Okay, right, this one was the the bean. So yeah, we'll sign a contract with the bean. Yay, splendid. That one was uh, like swift veg, because that was quite a nice thing to just have kind of in the middle. Yeah, it's so a swift veg. And that one was the sushi place. Uh, Hiko Sushi. I oh, know, but it was Valentino because they pay a lot for a bonus. So, yeah, okay, fine. Right, let's get them so they're lit up. So, they, the staff member needs to come in. Any time. Here we go. Here we go. Here's all the staff running in. Here are the workers. Yeah, okay. So, you've come in. Yes, the shop is open. You've come through security. <laughs> yep, yeah, you've got to walk through security, buddy. Yep, yeah, through you go. You're allowed in. Jolly good. Okay. Okay. Right, slow time down. I think it's time we get ourselves a contract. Let's speed time a little bit. I paused it there by accident. I think it's time we get ourselves an airline contract. So let's get... Now, what do these mean? This is different as well. Now, there's multiple planes. Or does that mean it's recurring? That means it's recurring, doesn't it? If it's got multiple planes, that must mean it's a recurring contract. Whereas that means it's just a one-off thing. There's a few planes and then they go away again. Like that. Air Strada just goes away. Right. Maple. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Six daily medium class flights re requiring a medium stand and two check-in desks each. Six successful flights to complete. Payment per flight is that. Contract within nine days. Yes, Maple. I can certainly do that one. Let's pause it. Let's have a look at what else there is. They're all cheap. They're small, 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 small. Okay, so oh, there's medium down here. Look, there, another Maple one. Uh, okay. So why, what's the difference then? What do I get for that one? Four, seven, two, five, seven daily medium class flights. Sure, so let's do that. Air Strada. Why not? Let's get Air Strada on board. I've signed a contract. Okay. Okay. That's a bit scary. I've signed a contract. And now let's sign a small contract. Just a small one-off type thing. CLM. Small. Class small. Seven light class flights. Requiring a small stand and one check-in desk. Two medium-class flights. Nine successful. Four and a half grand per thing. Yeah, do I have to have a medium one as well? CLM. Five daily medium-class flights. No, I want small. Small flights, please. Maple. Medium-class. No, that's not small. As in small planes. As in little planes. Skylink. Nope, that's medium. Uh, small. That's medium. <laughs> Hang on, maybe I need to go down to the bottom. Maybe that's how this works. Uh, swiftly, they're all medium, which is good. I don't mind medium. Uh, swiftly, medium class flights. Okay, is there any way they just like want small planes? Stripe Air, light class flights. Five medium class flights. That's too much. It's too much. Air Strada, nine medium class flights. That's not small. These are all big contracts. Uh, okay, that one. What was that one? Ten medium class flights. Good grief. I was just hoping to get like, there you go, four light class flights requiring a small stand. That's seven requiring a medium stand. 
Can you not all just require the small stands? That'd be ideal. Swiftly. Eleven! Okay, right. I need to go and find a contract that's going to work. Uh, right, instead of me showing you every single contract. Oh, God, they're all big. They're all huge contracts. Air Strada, medium, CLM. Seven light class, two medium class flights requiring a medium stand and two check-in desks each. Joe, you know we could do that, couldn't we? We could do that. Let's do that one. CLM. There we go. Now we need to do some flight planning. Was it F that I pressed? Ah, there we go. Okay. Right, CLM have only so many flights, whereas Air Strada are just recurring. Now, how does this work? A recurring flight. I don't know quite how this is going to function. So that can come to the medium stand. We need to be allocated at least three hours in advance. So how about we put it the earliest it can be? Ten past four. Quarter past four. Let's make it half past four. Half past four. Splendid. Confirm. Okay. So now Air Strada flights happen, what, every day or every half hour from that or what? I don't know how the recurring flights work. Okay, right, small flights can just basically go, yep, yeah, there's a small stand. Uh, and there's another small flight. Yep, yeah, you're another small flight, so let's stagger you. You're a small flight, so let's drop you in. Night flights are not approved! Oh no, okay. Uh, right, medium. Is the top one a medium? Nope. The bottom one is though, so let's drop that in just there. And then Saturday, let's carry on. Oh, look, I see. So it's it's done. Yeah, so it's a, it's just basically scheduled every day. So that's scheduled every day at that time. Okay, then what was the contract then? That's a bit confusing. Okay, fine. Uh, CLM is small. We can put these in whenever we like. Yep, that's small. Let's stagger it a bit. That's small. Yep. That small. This is good because I like the small flights. Right, and a medium flight, just there, say, and another small flight, just I don't know, there. Splendid. Okay, so that's a full contract now. Let's just move time on. Let's see if it all works or if it all falls apart in comic fashion. <gasps> you, you are the first person. Well done, Inga Gregerson. You are the first passenger. To go to Everest International Airport. The first commercial passenger. Well done. Welcome, Inga Gregerson. Hello from Norway. Yep, and you're here for some reason. Don't quite know why. Oh, and she's already gone to the eatery. This is splendid news. Okay, people are going to the shops. They're going to the eateries. They're having food. They're sitting down on their comfy sofas. This is good. This is good so far. Okay, there's people. Everyone's just coming in to eat. Do you not want to check in and then eat? Loads of people are spending money at the fooderies. Look at it. Raking it in. Wow, good job, fooderies. Right, okay. So now they're joining the queues. Can we not have some more airport staff? Okay, right. Maybe... Look at the bags. Right, the bags. The bags is key. Oh, look. Look, a lot of them being blown up. A lot of them are being obliterated. Why are there so many bags being destroyed? What are you people bringing in? Drugs? Diego Hernandez? <gasps> you rat bag. Perfume? Are we destroying perfume now? Okay. Right. And then he's he's doing his job. Oh, this is tremendous. It's working very well, though. It's working well. So that's the step. Let's turn that off for employees. Let's turn that one off. So then employees don't go and take up the space of a person. They go down these ones specifically made for employees. That's a good idea. It's working. It's working. It's actually functioning as it should. There's a bit of a queue for security, but that's fine. Right, we might need some more airport staff. I might, well, I'd just like to get a couple more just regular airport staff. Okay, yeah, let's get one, two, three, four more of you guys. Just so you can man some more stuff. Right, here comes some more people. Okay, they're going into the departure lounge. They're waiting. Okay, when does the plane come in? When does our next plane come in? Open the flight schedule. It's landed. The ten past six. Oh no, they're the oh they're the they're the general aviation things. There, 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 there. <gasps> Exciting touch. It's a big plane. Well, it's bigger than those little ones, and everything seems to be working. Right, here's the test. Right, let's put it on normal speed. Where's the gate thing in my bother? There. Deboarding in progress. Now, are we going to have issues here now with baggage? The baggage unloading has not happened yet. Oh no, there. The baggage unloading, it's happening. Okay, 20, 30, 40. The baggage unloading is done. 
It's coming down into the baggage bay. Oh, it's beautiful. They're unloading it. They're unloading the bags. They're unloading the bags. The bags are going to the thing. Are they going to come out in the right place? The people are coming through. They're picking up their bags. Yes, there's all the bags. There's an awful lot of bags. There's a hell of a lot of bags. Crikeys. Okay. <laughs> everyone everyone, kind of sprinting after the... <laughs> That's very funny. So, ah! <laughs> slow down, baggage bay. How did you get on the inside? Are you hopping over the baggage bay? Right. Baggage loading in progress is not happening. Why? Why is the baggage loading not happening? Now, this could be an issue. Now, why are they not loading the bags? Is it just because they've not got them yet? Oh, yeah, look. Here, look. They've not even got them on the little sort of truck thing. Okay. Now, you're going to drive to the plane. Yes. Delay it by an hour. Baggage loading is in progress. Yeah, okay. So, it's just taking a bit longer than we thought. Okay. Right. To remedy that, let's get ourselves uh, uh, economy, uh, procurement. Let's get ourselves uh, three more service trucks. In fact, no, two more. Two more service trucks. Just to help. Because I think that might have been the problem. Right, this place. Baggage is loaded. Boarding is in progress. We're waiting for one person. Leave without them. That's it. Leave without them. Oh no, they're going. They're going. Up the plane goes. Yes, this is beautiful. Oh, it's got a big green circle thing on it. This is tremendous. And they're going to turn around. Okay. Oh, okay, you're using one of those runways. That's absolutely fine. I hadn't kind of planned that you'd be using one of those, but okie doke. Uh, that was a surprise. Okay, yeah, I, I, they're not accepted for commercial, but he just used it anyway. Oh, no, that one is for commercial. Okay, let's turn that off. I obviously had not turned that one off before. Right, let's repair the runways while we're here. Let's just get, 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 treat our runways. That runway is repaired because it's probably never been used. And that one's all right. Okay. Okay, when's our next flight? When do we get stuff coming in? We've just dealt with four flights. It's beautiful. Okay. Now, the Air Strada contract. How does that work, then? Let me go and check the Air Strada contract. Economy. Contracts. Accepted. Air Strada. Seven daily. Medi seven daily. It's a seven daily. I don't understand. Requiring a medium stand. Seven successful flights to complete. Contract must be completed within ten days. Does it mean seven of one a day or seven every day? I don't really know. Where's the flight planner? Flight planner? Let's say on a Saturday. Can we bring another one of those in? No, look. So it, that's it. That flight is always scheduled. So from that place there in Ramagundam in India to Everest International Airport is always going to be at that time per day. Why don't we then get ourselves another similar contract? That's absolutely fine. I can cope with that. I can cope with a recurring contract of that type. So Skylink... No, I want... Come on. Where's, where's some three stars at least? Come on. Come on. Give me some proper stars. Where's a three star one? Swiftly medium... Oh, but it's not a recurring one. There, you. Whoever you are. Skylink. Uh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Wordy words. Seven daily medium class thingamabobs. Seven flights complete. Must be completed within ten days. Yeah, okay. I'm up for that as well, Skylink. I'm up for a bit of Skylink action. And what about Swiftly down here as well? Expires day two, year three, which is gone. Which is a little bit confusing, but okay. Six. Payment per flight is five, five. Okay. Well, let's do that. If that's a recurring one as well. Why don't we just do all of those things? Right, pause, because it's going a little bit laggy and strange. So, yeah, Skylink can come in at... Why can't I drag the Skylink? Ah, okay, Swiftly can go just, say, I don't know, there. That's fine. And then Skylink can come in a bit earlier in the morning. Say, the early flight. They can be the really early flight. They can be the first flight of the day. 20 past 5 for the Skylink flights. Can we move that once it's done? No. Okay. Oh, reschedule flight. <laughs> this option is not supported yet. Okay, never mind. Whatever. Right. Speed time on. This is very exciting. An employee can't reach its work position. Where? Where? Where, 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 where? Why can't you reach a work position? Okay, I'll keep an eye on that. Let's clear it for now. But I shall keep an eye on that. 
Um, okay, clear all those things. Oh my goodness, clear all these pointless notifications. Yep, 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 clear, keep clearing until they've all gone. Splendid. Okay, right, more people are coming in for their flights. When's the next flight? It's, ah, it's the Skylink flight and then a couple of the CLM flights. Okay, this is good, this is good. Now, the initial terms of the uh, the challenge, that destroyer thing is getting an absolute load of use. How much stuff are you bringing in, you dodgy people? What's in that one? That one's got jet fuel in. <laughs> Tamar Mizrachi, why are you bringing jet fuel onto a plane? That's got drugs. That's a bit more ex not acceptable. Explosives. Right, okay. It's probably a good job that we've got these bags kind of things then. Uh, perfume. That's not why it's perfume. I don't know. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Okay, I thought you'd be allowed. Drugs. Drugs are bad. Yeah, drugs. Drugs bad. That's fine. Ooh, that one got through. Organics. Ooh, what's that? Souvenir. <laughs> no. <laughs> are we destroying bags when we shouldn't be? Is is this the problem? Is this the problem? Have I set the baggage bay up slightly incorrectly? Should it be going from here and then going into that and then going into that and then being destroyed, possibly? Rather than sending the bag of souvenirs to be blown up. I don't know. Like diesel. That, I would say, is a bad thing to have in your bag. That's a bad thing. A bag of diesel is a bad thing. There should not be diesel in your luggage. A, per <laughs> a person. Don't destroy it. <laughs> There's a person in there. Why are you shipping a person in your suitcase? <laughs> That's very, very funny. That's very funny. Ah, oh dear. Okay, I'm not sure if that's working properly. Now, I did notice there was... Was it the dashboard? There was a bit here, look. Passengers, 99% approval rating. Which is pretty good. Now, I'm not sure, however. Yeah, am I supposed to, with this, have that machine first? Then it kind of goes, oh, right, that's gone wrong. Then it spits it out into this one. And then that one goes, oh, no, that's wrong. Then he checks it. And then says, oh, that's wrong. And if he checks it and it's still bad, it boshes out into the uh, into the destroyer. Otherwise, because look, like these ones, I mean, gasoline. Okay, fine. And a per <laughs> another person that we've just incinerated. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, yeah. I think we might need to rejig that, possibly. So when it gets to the morning of the next day, when's our last flight? <laughs> when is our 8 o'clock? When it gets to 8 o'clock, we'll... Um, We'll deal with that. And then I will consider that that's a good thing. That's a good thing. We need to possibly sort that out. Because we're blowing up everything pretty much. Um, okay, but this is good. It's going well. The flights are coming in. Now, yeah, I was saying. The initial terms of the, con the, the, the contract, not the contract, the challenge were to complete a contract with a medium sort of flight challenge thing on it. So a medium flight, not a small contract a medium contract and once this clm contract is done here at about eight o'clock tonight that's it it will be finished we will have completed our challenge which is very exciting indeed and we are absolutely raking in the monies now oh look at it we are making an absolute flipping fortune probably because we're still ripping people off using the runways i guess so that's very exciting. Is running late? Yes. Delay it by an hour. It's fine. They're just getting the uh, they're getting the stuff on board. It's fine. Worry, worry not, folks. Okay, you've gone. This place is uh, yep. Yeah, this place is boarding, but there's still some people left to board. Come on, six people. Six people all in the loo or something, or all in the shop. Huh? A plane? Oh yeah, I forgot about that plane thing. That I'm supposed to get on. That one is that late? Uh, nope, they're boarding. There's only seven people to get on that one. Beautiful. Okay, so those flights have gone. Oh, this is very exciting. And the general aviation bit on the right-hand side, on the east, is just merrily just working. It's just doing what it does. And it's absolutely fine. I like that. I like the fact that it's just ticking away quite happily. Yeah, I think the baggage thing needs a bit of work. I don't think it's supposed to. I don't, that thing is working overtime. The blowy up thing is supposed to be working overtime. And I imagine souvenirs are fine. Like, you can take souvenirs with you. What's in that one? Money. Oh, now, what's the money from, though? Is it from dodgy dealings? Oh, that's a black suitcase. Clearly, it's got something dodgy. Magazines. <laughs> 
Now, I would say magazines are an entirely acceptable thing to have. I don't think we need to blow up his bag of magazines. I suppose it depends on what's in the magazines, I would assume. That one? Drugs? Yeah, blow that one up. Naughty. Naughty drugs. Naughty naughties. But okay, what's in that one? Diesel. Stop bringing fuel onto a plane. That's a bit weird, you stupid people. Okay, it's working. So all we need to do now is tick over to 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, I, I could, in theory, when it gets to 8 o'clock, I could go, hooray, the challenge is done. I do just want to rejig this a little bit, just to make sure that it works properly as it should. Because I don't think that's how that works. I think we're possibly supposed to go, right, okay, it goes through that scanner. No, but then I want it to go through that scanner as well. If it's a bad one, if it's a bad thing, it comes out here, and then what, it gets scanned twice? Is that right? So if it comes through and it's a dodgy thing, it comes through along this conveyor bit and then goes, right, okay, now I need to check it if it's one of these dodgy things. Yeah, like what what, what constitutes it being like a bad thing? Like that look. That's got like a sensing for drugs and explosives and things. What does that one do? Like magazines isn't a bad thing. Uh, okay, what was that one going in there? Ah, oh, too slow. Missed it. Too slow. Okay, that one. I've got two. So magazines. Now, I don't think we need to blow up magazines and cigarettes. That's fine, isn't it? Isn't that duty-free? Cigarettes and magazines. That's what people buy. Gasoline and souvenirs. Now, mm, souvenirs, I think, is fine. And yet that, unspecified. Unspecified. Uh, scanned, no. Yeah, I wonder if we've got that the wrong way round, possibly. I don't know, but no one's complaining. There's not any sort of complaints. The passengers are very, very happy. The airport has quite a high approval rating. General Aviation has a 0% approval rating. Oh, do you know what? Because we're ripping them off. Hang on. We can turn that back down now. Um, budget. Fees. Uh, yeah, light aircraft landing fee. Let's make it 350. Let's see if this makes any difference. Right, we can bring that down now. 100. And that can be... Do you know what? Let's make it less for you guys. One. Eight. So $1.8 for your fuel. Let's knock that fuel cost up a tiny bit. 0 0.6, just to make up a bit of that. Right, does that affect the um, general aviation approval rating? Maybe it takes a while for it to refresh. Right, a load of bags coming in. Yeah, I'm not sure about how that baggage scanning thing works. To me, that makes sense. So if it goes through here, this thing picks up something dodgy on the initial run. It goes, nope, that's dodgy. Send it to be blown up. Goodbye. Then it goes to this. So if it's blown up, it's fine. Then if it passes through that, it goes, right, another check. No, no, that's dodgy. Goodbye. If it passes that, then it gets a person to look at it. And the person can then go, oh, no, it got through the automated systems. But I'm a human and I think that should be blown up. Goodbye. So I don't know what advantage you would have. We need to have multiple incinerator things on each. We need to have a quite a complicated network of things, I think. Wouldn't we? We'd need to have, is everything working all right, by the way? Yep, everything's ticking over just fine. Right, do they still like me? No, general aviation, zero. Okay, fine. Um, I think, though, is that the last flight of the day? Yeah, that's the last flight, and it's gone. So, right, pause. So, Sunday, we've got until... Uh, what's that? Five. Five twenty. So, we've got a, so we've got about nine hours. I think we've... we've ooh, contract not completed. Why are you in the dark? Why are you in the dark? 106 grand review. Is it just because you're shut? It's just because you're closed at night time, perhaps. 8 o'clock, you guys closed. Okay. I think... Now, I'm torn. I'm torn between either saying, yay, it's a success, or trying to work on this and make it actually do something. But I'm a bit confused with how it works. So it comes in. It goes through this. This then says, yep, yeah, that's fine. So then that then spins off that way. Does if it's bad, does it then need to go into one of those as an extra check to then go, nope, uh, yep, that's fine. And then it comes out as fine. Then if it doesn't, now that's really complicated. That's going to be a massive, complicated grid of things, isn't it? That That's going to be quite horrible to do. Shall we try and do it for fun? We've got enough money for it. Because, yeah, we need to have different bits branching out for whether it's good or bad. And then you'd need to have multiple kind of systems. Do you know what? Why not? Let's have fun. Let's have fun. The last thing we do can be mucking about with this. Right. Object mark for demolish. Now, we need some more contractor people back in. Let's get another 10. Splendid. So get those guys in. The current guys run in and dismantle all this stuff. Bish bash bosh. Okay. Dismantling happening. 
break everything down. Come on. We've got no bags happening at the minute, so let's just dismantle the baggage process, like so. Come on, dismantle these things quicker. It's true that no one cleans that out. It's just full of ash. The ash of all the newspapers and people that we've burnt. Okay, yeah, and they're taking that down. You're taking a long time to do this, fellas. It's longer than I thought you were going to take. Oh, that thing is very complicated to dismantle. That's it. Join in. Right. Okay. So now we've got this sort of approach. So the first thing, bag scanner. Used for detecting suspicious contents. So if we put that right at the bottom, 50 grand. Right. Let's pop that there. Why not? So 50 grand is the generic baggage scanner. Uh, right, that's going the wrong way now. For some reason, that is going the wrong way. I don't know why. Come on, dude. Demolish that thing. Yay. Right, okay. And now we want, pause, we want the overground belt to come through like that and then go into there. Okay, so it goes into the generic baggage scanner. If it passes the generic baggage scanner, it can then have one overground belt bit and go, yay, right, splendid, just there. And it can go into this bag scanner, like that, which is lovely, and that's good. Then it can have an overground belt again. Oh, I've done the thing where I don't know how I've done that. Get off. There we go. Ugh, it's a bit tedious. The overground bag scanner, no, the overground belt, sorry, can then go into the scan station, which requires a person to be looking at it. Okay, so that's kind of what we had before. And then, if that works, we then go to the... Uh, let's dismantle that little bit there. And then we go to baggage belts, overground belt, up to there, and across to there. Right, lovely. So that should work. So that's going to be fine. So it'll come in, pass, pass, pass. However, if it doesn't pass... So let's zoom time on a little bit. If it doesn't pass this one, it needs to then come out of there this is very silly isn't it so let's make it come out a couple of squares it needs to come out of there then does that need a specific scanner so a bag scanner to then say well hang on a minute you've got something dodgy going on in there matey boy so now yeah it needs to come in like that so then that needs to come in to go right that's generic bosh that comes into the generic bag scanner the generic bag scanner then goes, yep, yeah, that's allowed. And out it goes to one of those then. So another scan station, perhaps, like that. Baggage belt in the middle, an overground belt going uh, that way, like that. And the bag scan station, yeah, so we just need basically one of each thing, don't we? Right, okay, that's fine. And then that's got, that's got a scan station. So we're going to have three scan stations. Uh, let's put that there then to give room for the thing to come out. Like that. Right. Baggage belt overground belt. So now there uh, to there and then up like that and then to there like that. And then we need the destroyer thing. Just say I don't know there, that'll do. And then all these things need to connect up to it. So the overground belt needs to then go up. No, that's wrong way. Up like that. Oh, this is going to not work, is it? Uh, okay, and that needs... Oh, this is very silly. That needs to just come out. We need it to go in like that. So that can just go like that. Oh, yeah, ideally, we want to move that up one. So let's move that up one. The cargo, the bag destroyer can sit like that. This is probably the most inefficient way that anybody has ever done this. And I apologise. I apologise a great deal. This is terrible. Right, okay, like that. And then that can go to there. Is that is that how that's supposed to work? So it comes through. It goes to the baggage scanner. It fails. It goes through to the specific baggage scanner. Ah, now what if... Oh, no, that's if it succeeds. Oh, no, 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 I've done it. I've. It, it's all wrong. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. That's if it succeeds. If a specific thing succeeds, it goes to the baggage scanning station. If it fails that, where does that need to go? If it fails the baggage scanner, does it need to go to baggage... 
scanning. Oh, I don't really understand. I don't really understand. Let's get them to build all that. That might work somehow. But yeah, no, there's no way round for it to ever succeed, is there? Yeah, I need to see what they look like. I need to see what all this looks like now and how badly I've messed this up. Come on, dudes, build. You've only got about four hours before people start bringing their luggage in. Can you build it a little bit quicker, please? This could go horribly wrong. This could be a real tragedy. Uh, yeah, do you know what? Do you know what we're going to do? This is this video has probably gone on for far too long. I do apologise, but it's the last it's the last bit, isn't it? So I thought, yeah, you know what? Why not? Um, how do we get the oh, overview? That's it. We're going to take the baggage handling service bit off for now, just so people don't expect bags. That's fine. Yep, you can go on an international flight, but you can't take any bags with you because that's the kind of place we are. So the bags come in. Baggage scanner. It goes, yep, you've passed that. Specific baggage scanner goes, yep, you've passed that. Him, you've passed that. Yes, you may go through. Baggage scanning station. So if it fails, if it passes the first one, fails that one in the second level. So it goes, oh, there's something dodgy in here. Goes to a baggage scanning station. Now, yeah, that's not going to work. No, I've done it all. It's all wrong. It's all gone wrong. It's all wrong. So now if it succeeds, it gets blown up. <laughs> if it succeeds, it gets blown up. No, it needs to be if it's that. Oh, yeah. I've messed this up ever so slightly, haven't I? Do you know what I might do? I might just return it to how it was and pretend that that never happened. I don't fully understand this system. Like, I don't know why it was blowing up cigarettes. Surely cigarettes are absolutely fine. And magazines. Like, why are they contraband? Why are magazines bad? You can bring magazines in your luggage if you want to. I don't really get why that's a bad thing. Uh, let me... I'm just going to sit and have a look, see if I can figure this out in my head. Rather than doing it here, because I'm just waffling. Let me see if I can figure out how this might actually work. Okay. I think this should work. It looks very elaborately complicated, doesn't it? How do you show the thingy-mabobs underground? Toggle conveyor belt. There we go. So the plan is, the luggage comes along here. It gets to this first checkpoint. It says, is it good? If it is, it goes, yeah, okay. Gets to this one, it goes, is it good? Yep. Yeah. Goes to this way. He then looks at it. The security bloke just there looks at it. Goes, yes, that's fine. It goes all the way up there. There's a little bit of stray thing there, actually. Let's get rid of that, shall we? While we're there. And then it goes away and it goes up onto here. And then it's absolutely fine. If it fails this first check, it goes, oh, hang on. Right, yep, you failed. Gobs it out this way. Goes to this. If it then goes, no, nah, you failed again. It goes down here. And then if it fails again, it goes round here, along here up here and into the incinerator. However, if it succeeds at this check here, at check number two, so the first thing has gone, that's a bit dodgy. The second check goes, yeah, no, that's fine. It gets to a person. And the person can then pass his eye over it and go, yeah, that, that, that's fine. Off it goes, up into the thing. Or he can then say, no, and it goes under the ground, joins its conveyor, gets onto that one, and then gets blown up. And this one here does the same. So it passes the first check, goes, yeah, the second check here then goes, whoa, no, I don't like that much. Goes to be assessed by a person. The person says, yes, that's fine. They send it on its way. The person says, no, that's clearly something terrible. It goes underground, goes back onto this conveyor, pops back overground, and is then incinerated. I think, I think that should work. Now, I've not got any flights left now. I've not got any flights left, but the baggage system is all turned on. So when is our next flight? Our next flight is Monday morning at 20 past five or whatever it is. So yeah, 20 past five. So let's see. Can we fast forward to the next day? No, there are passengers in the terminal. Okay, so let's get to five o'clock in the morning. Oh, they're demolishing that thing now. Jolly good. Let's get to 5 a.m. And then let's see if that particularly complicated, elaborate system works and picks up all the dodgy stuff and doesn't kind of keep sending people's magazines uh, to be incinerated. But drugs and gasoline and stuff, yes, we'll blow that up. But magazines and cigarettes are probably entirely acceptable, so we don't need that. Uh, there's one square there that's facing the wrong way. What, how has that even happened? How is that even a thing? That square there is facing the wrong way. Like, how? How is that facing the wrong way? I would have drawn it in a big line going across. Okay, well, there we go. At least I spotted it. Baggage belt. Uh, overground belt. That way, please. Splendid. Yeah, that would have made things go wrong, wouldn't it? Because it would have been sending them back that way. <laughs> it's been constant loop. Uh, okay, yep, they'll repair that. 
and let's just let's just check that it's all the right way now i'm really paranoid yep it all looks fine to me now it's all good it's all good it's all gravy it's fine um yeah, so now we're just going to wait. We shall wait until the next flight comes in and we can watch the bags going in. That'll be that'll be the big test. Right, okay. Passengers are coming in. Passengers are coming in. They've got suitcases. They've got things. So it's working. They're going on a conveyor belt. Let's be time on a tiny bit just to get it through here. And then we shall slow it down. Oh, look, you can see the shadows of them coming in. Right, slow time down. Normal speed. Okay, right. That one had a red light. That's failed. So that is av gas. Now that's gas. So that should fail on all fronts. So this should fail this one. Yep. Yeah, and it should fail him. And he should chuck that out and say, no, that's a load of gas. You maniac. Why are you bringing gas? Right, that one. Gas. That one is... What's that bag? I can't seem to click on any bags. That bag. Money. Mm, yeah, now is money a bad thing? I suppose it could be. It could be dodgy. That one is drugs. Yes, that's a bad thing. That's what's... What, oh, my goodness. How many... Have I got a load of illegal people coming into my airport? Um, that one. What's on that one? Gas. What's in that one? Gas. Stop bringing gas. But like that, these must have come through and been safe. So, so we're letting explosives on the plane, are we? How did that get through all the checks? How did that get through? They're explosives. Money. Money. Unspecified. This doesn't make any sense. Unspecified doesn't make any sense. How has explosives got through? Look, there, look. Right. Construction material. Why are you bringing construction material on a plane? You lunatics. Yeah, I'm worried the explosives got through. That's a little bit disturbing, isn't it? Have gas. That's fine. Drugs. Spirits is probably fine. You can bring some spirits back with you. If you go on holiday, that's kind of a thing that happens. Right, what's coming out there? Souvenirs. Souvenirs is fine. Yay, souvenirs is through. Let's let souvenirs through. Splendid. Anything else coming through from either of these guys? No, a lot of stuff is being blocked. This is good. This is very good. Okay, this is very efficient, it seems. We've got construction material. We've got clothes. Now, I wouldn't put clothes as a thing we need to blow the bag up for, but never mind. Okay, I think this is fine. I think this is working okay um again yeah clothes oh there's a massive a person there's a person in there uh okay it's backed up a bit for some reason it's just stopped working it's just stopped working i don't know i don't understand the baggage thing i don't know why it's blowing up clothes whatever i'm done now i'm done the challenge has been a success the baggage handling bit perhaps not so much of a success because it's just stopped working i don't really understand why i don't know why it stopped working all of a sudden it's just blocked look what hello do something move some stuff out of the way there's nothing to stop it going there's nothing to stop it i don't know why it stopped working whatever i'm going to pause the game i'm going to count this as a win we have achieved what we set out to do, albeit this bit is elaborately complicated. I should have just left it as it was, shouldn't I? But never mind. At least we know we can get that working. And we've got all the sort of poncy bag extra super duper special security stuff available if we want it. But there we go. So I think we have succeeded. We have succeeded in our goal. We were able to start off on the extreme difficulty mode and uh, with, with you know, 250 grand... 100 grand spent on the runway. We started over here. We got a few stands. We built that up over the course of maybe three or four parts. So more stands and then a couple more service roads. We got the refueling in. We upped the prices. Then we started building this bit. And this bit has indeed worked as well. So the, really, the general aviation bit just kept us ticking over. And then the main airport bit has now given us the big bump of money we need. So the big increase in funds, which is lovely, lovely. And yeah, it's all it's all quite cool. So you've got yeah, you know, you've got the proper checking bit. We've got shops, we've got cafes, we've got the proper waiting area, and there's screens, and there's uh, pot plants and trash cans and everything. There's lots of lovely things all around. What is that? Oh, it's the back of the <laughs> it's the back of the uh, the luggage truck that um for some reason has come through the wall good a little bit of an accident going on there never mind so yeah, it's a shame the baggage this baggage handling bit is just ground to a halt but i don't i genuinely don't know what the problem is that there, there appears to be nothing coming through that something has stopped just here and i don't know why because that goes underground so those should have no bearing on what's going that way so for whatever reason, it's decided to just not work. But the, the baggage handling bit has always been a bit fiddly and a bit finicky anyway. So 
Uh, never mind. Never mind. I'm still counting it as a win. So you can indeed succeed playing this on extreme difficulty mode. It's just not quite as fun at the start. The early days of this are not quite as fun. So when you start on the easy mode, you get like two million. Is it two million dollars? You can come in, you can build all this. You can build the exciting stuff and security and, you know, all the rooms and the staff room and all the shops and things. You can get it all pretty much from the off. Whereas if you start on extreme difficulty, it's a little bit of a grind to get to here. But as we can see from here, you can indeed get there. So there we go. That was Airport CO Extreme Difficulty Challenge. Now, I think for now, I'm going to leave Airport CO for a bit because they are changing it little bits. They're changing it bit by bit as it goes. So 22.3 or 23.1.1 .1, whatever it is up there. I can't read it. My eyes are now go 23.1-1. But I think the last time I played it was 23.0.0, whatever it was. So they are upgrading it in little bits. So as with other early access games, I will keep this on my radar and come back to it in a bit and just have a look. So come back to it in what, I don't know, three months, six months, or if they release something that says, this is a massive update that's added super duper mega functionality, I will go and have a look at it and see how it's changed. But for now, I don't think there's any sort of value in coming back to it again, because I think we've covered We've covered it. We've done We've done what we can in Airport CEO. I think we've done what we can in the current state of the game as it is now. I think we've done as much as we can do. We've gone as far as we can. And I really enjoy it. I think it's a very good game. It's very different to, and again, comparisons alert because it was always inevitable. But it's very different to Sim Airport. Sim Airport was a little bit more sort of casual. This is a little bit more in-depth and kind of detailed. A little bit more strategic perhaps with all the different baggage handling stuff and all that kind of what's it so you have to do so um yeah different types of games different types of games but i i do enjoy it and we shall return to it but who knows when that'll be it'll be a little while i imagine as they sort of slowly upgrade it but we will return if you've liked this video or, or if you've liked the whole series the whole extreme difficulty challenge series then please do leave a like and please subscribe just to keep up to date with all the stuff that we are up to but for now Thank you for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. How much cake did you have? Not a lot. You buggered off to the door. Blah. Can I be sick down our back? Oh, good. There's nothing creepy about some mysterious, ethereal humming. Oh, no. Mum's been on the gin again. Mum's been on the gin, and she's been watching rom-coms. Oh, Mum, no. What have you done?